Today we discuss about how to create buffer in QGIS. Generally in layers with coordinate reference system, geographic or latitude longitude that is WGS84 in QGIS, we have to give degrees to measure distance uh, or for creation of buffer. So here we uh, resolve this issue and create buffer uh, around a polygon line or point in meters or kilometers or feet as uh, uh, as uh, as to measure distance from the outer periphery of 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 the line. So this is my QGIS and I open Google Satellite as base map from here and the projection system is WGS84 that is geographic. So I'm going to open uh, add layer that is you know shape file of my polygon is yes, this I just change the symbology here to make it inside hollow so this is now if I going to uh, create buffer around it so you can see that the distance around the buff around the periphery from the outer boundary of my polygon it is shown as degree so it is difficult you know to convert uh, degree to meter or meter to degree uh, to prepare buffer so we have to first you know export the layer to you know UTM projections and I give a name of the new shape file I put UTM so that I can remember uh, that this is projected reprojected and the coordinate reference system will be the uh, UTM zone 45 and to know the uh, to know the which part of the of your location you know, which part is under which zone which UTM zone I have made several video two at least I made two videos to how to know from Google Earth and another website so from where you can easily identify that uh, zone of your uh, location so accordingly you uh, reproject it so now if I go to vector to geoprocessing tools to buffer and I select this UTM the new uh, file shape file you will see that meter is covered and kilometer feet also so if you want to prepare 10 kilometer radius then you prepare, use kilometer and accordingly so I want to prepare say 500 meter radius buffer and the segment I keep it on no, 50 segment is actually uh, the outer polygons in number of segments there if, if the more segments so uh, the polygon outer uh, the buffer polygon will be as uh, very smooth actually and keep this end cap and joint cap is round and if you want to save this you click here and save file and give a name of and location of the file otherwise you keep this for temporary uh, so I keep it as temporary and keep run. 
So you see that the buffer has created around the 500 uh, meter uh, of, of my polygon. So from here I can export and save this uh, file. Save features. So this is one thing. Another thing I can say if I want to create buffer uh, within the boundary you know uh, within the boundary then what we have to do we have to use you know I put this main file the UTM file and say I want to prepare buffer uh, 500 meter within for that I have to use negative sign so I use negative sign here and rest of the thing is as previous so I make run here close you will see the 500 meter from the outside boundary of of the polygon so like way you can do a buffer so for line and polygon we can see here that uh, it is you can see that for line there as, as you have seen that the round meter or bevel this means the end cap in cap style if round then the end cap will be round if it is uh, fighter then it's like this and for bevel it's like that and for a polygon if you select round then the edge, edge will be rounded and other for my chart will be this and the bevel is like this and for point uh, for getting the dissolved final buffer if true checked overlapping buffer will be dissolved this is combined and a new feature will come otherwise keep it as false because default is false so keep trying for uh, linear and point layer for creation of buffer and if any doubt uh, please comment thank you thank you for watching this video and your patience